What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now this is going to be my Summit Legendary build. This is the build that I've been trying to get through uh, the Legendary floors on the Summit with. I myself have only gotten to get through about to 83 solo and then uh, usually falls apart somehow. Um, either way, I keep getting reset back to 81 because I believe you have to get all the way to the next rally point, which is 90. So this build is what I'm using for this one right here. Floors 81 to 91. And yeah, let's get into it. So here she is. You can actually get all of these pieces right now in the game. I'm just using these for the title update 11 because it seems to work. Um, and if it's not broke, don't fix it. Starting off at the top, I'm using the Gunner Specialization. This is a test build on a test server, so I'm only able to use the Gunner Specialization. Um, but with that being said, the armor kit does work out for your advantage with the bonus armor, and you also get that armor on kill. And the, uh, the Riot Foam Grenade is actually pretty good. Starting with the weapons, I'm using the Big Horn Exotic. The only way to get this exotic is through the Legendary Missions uh, in Washington, D.C. This one is at 120.3k total damage with max AR damage, 20% head uh, health damage, and 10% crit damage. My secondary is the new named shotgun called Cry. It is your named 612 shotgun and it comes with 5% armor on kill. This one just shy of a million total damage with max shotgun damage and max damage to armor. The uh, talent that comes with this one close and personal so whenever I kill an enemy within 7 meters I get 30% weapon damage. And then my sidearm, this is the new pistol that will be released in Title Update 11 as well. It is called the Card, K-A-R-D. And this one, 238k total damage with 310 RPMs and 18 round magazine. Now the way I set up this build was basically just best in slots. For me, the Coyote's Mask is one of the best masks to uh, run in the game. Matador with perfect adrenaline rush again best backpack to run in the game. The contractor gloves, best in slot gloves to run. Fox's prayer knee pads, again, best in slot. And also the hunter killer with perfect intimidate, again, best in slot. This will give you more damage with no drawback opposed to perfect glass cannon that gives you all of that incoming damage. So for me, this is best in slot chess piece. Now, I do not have a Fenris holster, or I'd use it. However, I do have this Grupo Sombra, so I get some more crit. Before I get through the gear, let's look at the stats real quick. This is for the Bighorn. 120k weapon damage, 44.7 crit chance, 127.5 crit damage, and 114.7 headshot damage. I also have 8% armor damage and 20% health damage. On the offensive tab, I have 104.8 all weapon damage bonus with 30% AR damage bonus. That bumps me up to 134.8 damage bonus total when I use the Bighorn. I am using Perfect Adrenaline Rush with Perfect Intimidate just for as much damage and bonus armor as possible. It works wonders against the legendary missions. At the end of this breakdown, I will show you me running this in legendary. Defensive tab, 726k armor with 72.6k armor on kill and 360k max health. Getting into the gear items, starting with the mask. I'm wearing the Coyote's mask. This one, God Rolled. Max weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage. And then for the mod slot, I chose another crit damage. Remember, this is Pack Instincts, the talent you get from Coyote's Mask. 
So based off of the distance I am, I'm going to get either more crit chance or crit damage. This is the Matador backpack, your named Walker Harris & Co. backpack. I get 5% weapon damage from the brand set bonus. This came with max weapon damage as the core attribute, 9.7 headshot damage, and 11.8 crit damage. For the mod slot, I chose more crit chance at 6%. Again, this is perfect adrenaline rush, so with whenever I'm within 10 meters of an enemy, I gain 23% bonus armor. Stacks up to 3 times, and it lasts for 5 seconds, and the cooldown is 5 seconds. So I can get a max of 69% bonus armor. That will put me up well above 1.2 million armor total. Contractor Gloves. For me, these are best in slot because of that damage to armor. These are god rolled, max weapon damage, and max crit damage. Again, I'm using the Fox's Prayer knee pads because they are best in slot for that damage to target set of cover. This one, max weapon damage and 4.8% crit chance. Grupo Sombra holster. This one, 14.8 weapon damage, max crit damage, and 5.9% crit chance. And then don't forget about the 15% crit damage I get from the brand set bonus. And finally, this is the Hunter Killer named Golden Gear chess piece with perfect intimidate. Now, the only way to get this chess piece is to kill all of the hunters in New York and open the off white chest that is in. The base of ops in Haven. Now because it's Golden Gear, I get the status effects. It has max weapon damage, 9.7 crit damage, and max skill damage. Red mod slot, I put on there crit chance at 6%. Now the perfect intimidate goes well with the adrenaline rush because both you have to be within 10 meters of an enemy, and this one amplifies your weapon damage by 40%. Multiplicative. Ugh. And that is the build, you guys. I run this with the Reviver Hive because I have to play this solo, so it's a little sketchy. And then I do it with the Assault dr uh, Turret. I use the Assault Turret basically as a diversion. That way the legendary enemies don't flank me within seconds. And there it is, you guys. This is my Summit Legendary Build. And now I will, you know, pawn you off to a little bit of legendary gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys.
agent. Deceased.
movement over there. I'll go take a look. Check it out.